guess it must have been about six or seven years ago. We had a group on the show that did uh, a dance. Now, we've seen all types of dancing, and uh, when they were finished, I asked, what do you call the dance? It was so new, there was really no name for it. And then about a year or so later, the same group came back, and they had a name called Street Dancing for it. Well, in the last three or four years, it evolved into Break Dancing. ups people are seeing you you're getting your props and that's the same thing when you go out to these jams and shit and you catch wreck and you throw down you know you're paying your dues and then people respect you and um, you know that's that, that's just part of coming up on the scene you gotta show face and you gotta battle people you can't just like show off you gotta like engage you gotta um, exchange a big part of the of the breaking scene that I like you know it's, it's like it's, it's real old school like it's still like mad competitive you know it's like kind of like you see like the battle rapping it's like the same thing it's it's a conversation you know we go back and forth you know trying to top each other and you know it's even beyond like seeing who could do what move better it's like it's a big uh it's like a big range of like where you could be creative with it you could just put so much different um, elements into your dance and like um, just be open and create your own your own style. I think what makes hip hop so different is that there's many elements. You know, it's not just rap. Rap is what's in the limelight and what most people see. It can also be like a family thing. It could be a, a household thing. It's the culture. It's not just, it's not just a genre of music. It's something that people practice, you know, daily around the world. That's, that's what makes hip hop uh, so different. People live this, you know, it's not just, you go in the studio and record a song over a beat. That's, there's more to it than that, you know? You want somebody? Strategies and, and the way they approach, you know, the moves and how they learned it. You know, some people have different tricks and uh, how they teach um, how to learn and properly execute certain moves. Um, but there's a there's a foundation, you know, and it's it's out there. You know, if you do your research, you can find out. That is really not a secret. You know, it's just. Um, Trying to learn how to do it right, you know. What well, took me like three years, two, three years to learn, like I could teach somebody that like within one year. Because it was hard for me to learn it because um, I was just doing it with my peers, and at the time, like late 90s, this there was no YouTube, there wasn't that easy access to learn things like you could just go on Google and type something up like how to do head spins or how to do windmills and there's probably a whole tutorial up on it now but well, back then there wasn't so you know it was hard for us to learn there was a lot of trial and error but um yeah this is everybody you want to develop your own signature style and your own signature moves and combinations so that is like you, that's your secret stuff. Like that's supposed to be like, you know, your, what makes you, uh, you know, a different character from everybody else. So, um, you know, that's the stuff that you don't teach people. 